Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about web applications. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, should I consider web application as quote unquote serious software engineering? I would say so. Uh, I'm not really sure what you mean by that if it's serious or not because I can usually the the areas of software development that are if we think about sort of what most would call mainstream like if it's if we're not talking like you know automation like robotics or something like that or anything like that we're talking about you know standard software development uh, commercial software development you're usually either working on like increasingly more rare now these days but you know a desktop application of some sort or a mobile application of some sort or you're working on a web application these are like or you can of course work with like custom hardware or you know you can do system levels uh, development and like there are so many different areas but they're all basically uh, all down to you working on one of the standard operating systems in some fashion or making an application that interacts with that operating system in some way and so uh, whether or not that's serious or not usually comes down to sort of who have you been talking with I mean if you talk to the most die-hard uh, I don't know system levels developers uh, you should know that you have these different tiers of coolness uh, in many cases for some people depending on who which community you're talking to uh, and different this is also good to know different coolness factors in languages and academics and things like that and people will give you their own flavor of what's serious and what's not serious what's a good language what's a shit language etc etc all i can tell you is that uh, uh, if you look at uh, say job opportunities or when it comes to doing like any type of software development across the globe the vast majority of the industry works with web because the platform web web applications is bigger than basically everything else uh, for most intents and purposes that that doesn't necessarily yeah, I, I want to make that fully clear as I've said before guys when you know people ask me angular versus react or Java versus C sharp or so forth like which one is bigger which when which one is pop more popular I can go you can do that now as well guys you can go and check out you can do a Google search and see the spread you can do a basic search on your job postings and see which is more popular but it's important to do it for both the thing that is most popular and the second thing because the you know you people think about oh it's only the thing that is biggest that is most important right no that's not how it works just because there are more jobs in web doesn't doesn't mean that there is nothing else going on there's tons of stuff going on it's like you know having a billion dollars versus 900 million dollars or something like that it's still in a fast amount even if you're in second place it's still like a gigantic area and the uh, web might be the biggest but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's nothing else and so when we talk about serious web application I would web app of uh, serious application development or software development I would say the web fall definitely falls into that because the the reality is that these are different skills it's very fairly different skills that you need for each case so if you do say system levels development or uh, desktop application development or say mobile sure uh, you have and web for example like there there are overlaps like you have languages you have syntax you have editors and so forth and so forth and you have all these normal things variables constant loops arrays you what have you right but the ecosystems are fairly different and the considerations you have to deal with are fairly different so on if you do say embedded systems you have certain restrictions if you do mobile you have certain restrictions or certain tools things that you need to consider because the platform that you are working on is different web is the same thing though the web or the browser is a platform and working with web applications is a platform which requires vast amounts of people uh, to do right there are very I would I would go as I think as we can all sort of align on that if for a big website if we're talking about like 
say one of your favorite main like say Google's uh, face uh, or Facebook or like one of Amazon or whatever like that website like the size of that system is enormous we're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of people working on like the entire ecosystem of services that are necessary in order to make that entire website work that system is gigantic it's very difficult for you to get the same sort of I mean if you have like you take your favorite uh, online game for example you might have a very similar sort of setup like what you see is just the UI but their backend system that connects with servers and all that stuff that's also web guys it's like the backend systems that they, you connect to is most likely a gigantic ecosystem as well just as your Netflix uh, application that you might have on your phone or on your TV or something like that like the, that's the client part which is definitely a very sophisticated system but the backend is usually done with web uh, and so this is definitely something you should consider as very serious and I would say that if you're looking to sort of get a uh, sensation of what mainstream like what most of the industry is working on this is the area to look at this is the thing that's probably most common as I said within the workspace and so if you want to go into this usually there are a few paths that you can take you can be a front-end developer and work focus mostly on the UI like the thing that you see in the browser or you can look at backend development which is as I said like a backend developer is usually someone who you create APIs or different services that the different client systems can connect to and that's something that is true for both mo for all the other things usually if there's any network work going on with the client system such as a desktop application a web page or a mobile phone or something like that and it connects to some business server or something that the company owns either you know on an on-prem solution or a cloud solution or something like that you are de dealing with some type of uh, network based backend and that's what the backend developers do so in a sense they're a little bit more flexible uh, than say for the people who are working on the client part of the systems uh, but it's fundamentally uh, just different roles and different language choices usually in different stacks that you're dealing with or you can do full stack development work sort of the thing that I do which is basically you do both uh, doesn't really matter to you and uh, there are you can do operations for example where you have to manage infrastructure such as you know all the different uh, resources that you need in order to do work um, there's tons of these flavors of roles that you are more advanced like you site reliability engineering you can help out with DevOps you can be a security expert like there's tons and tons and tons of different things that you can be doing within a web application um, project uh, but these I think are the most common ones the things the things I've touched on for, for software engineering and I can def I can promise you this much guys uh, it's definitely serious software development work and it's going to take you years and years and years to just get good at one thing when it comes to the web space because that's how big the web space is and by the time you get to be like a, a fairly experienced profile you're going to have a fairly you, you're going to adopt a fairly diverse skill set and if your ambition is to sort of get to higher levels where you do like manage things and so forth and so forth I can promise you there's quite a lot of overlap uh, between the complexity of what you need to know and uh, like the like the requirements on you are going to be fairly high just as it is if you were to do say mobile or uh, like embedded systems or is applic desktop application development and so forth uh, it really just comes down to like how big is the product that you're dealing with that's usually the th most determining factor if things are quote unquote serious or not so what I want you to take away from this is that yes, web application development is definitely serious software engineering. It's just a different set of uh, well, it's a different set of uh, tools, and you might you have differences. So you, just because you do web doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to immediately know how to do embedded, and embedded will not just know how to do web because it's it's different things like the coding like the languages and like the core concept like uh, that most programming languages have that overlap they are going to stay the same but all the tooling the, the considerations how you what you need to think about and so forth will differ so you can't you know it's it's just different ways of doing things uh, for different different sorts of platforms 
but I can promise you it's a very serious career and most of the uh, companies around the globe uh, have a web presence or it's like a web oriented uh, system that they're dealing with so it's usually the biggest uh, game in town if you're looking for job opportunities and when it comes to career development it's this one of the most surefire ways for you to climb up the ladder because as I said practically every single company has a web presence of some sort to varying degrees it's not every you know not every company has a mobile app or a uh, you know uh, some type of specialized hardware or like your desktop applications and so forth but practically every system that does e-commerce of some sort or every company that does e-commerce of some sort has a web presence so it's definitely a very serious area and it's probably the biggest one uh, that you can consider if you want to get into software development uh, I would say that usually you go into front-end development, back-end development or full-stack development or something similar. There are many roles apart from that. These are the main ones and all of them are going to, it's going to present a very long uh, career, uh, career for you. It's going to be a lot of fun if you like software development. Uh, and I'm not going to say that you should get into it or you shouldn't get into it, but if you're afraid that you're not going to learn real coding, I promise you, you don't have to worry about that. So web development is a very, very serious endeavor, and it's probably, if you want to master it, going to be at least as, diff like, at least as serious or challenging as anything else you can imagine. Have a great day.